hello guys and welcome to this week's video yeah so this week i'm doing my best friend picks my books so she does not read <laughs> she can't read she can but she just doesn't she doesn't have the um attention span for it but basically i've just asked her to pick two books that she's like heard of and wants me to read the first book she picked was things we never got over and then the second book she picked was the housemaid i expected her to pick pick the things we got over because she'd sent me a tiktok months ago saying that she wanted to read the book and i was like i know she won't because it's like a 600 page book she will not get around to that she was like she thought she it was really interesting and the housemaid i didn't expect her to pick i guess she was probably just looking through tiktok and that's the one that sounded most interesting to her and that's good because i do want to read a few more like thrillers and mysteries this month and the housemaid is obviously by freedom mcfadden who is already a free for a um, mystery writer I don't have the housemaid yet it's on its way but i do have things we never got over by lucy score this book has it's been so popular on YouTube and on TikTok for so long, but I've just been putting it off because I honestly don't think I like it. It's hard to explain why I wouldn't like this book, but I'm just scared because I know the male main character Knox is about 40 and from what I've seen and what I've heard, he does not act like he's 40 and that really bugs me about books. Like I'm like yes but you're a 38 year old man why are you acting like you're 17 do you know what i mean like that's just not how no one does that do you know what i mean it's just like and also something that really put me off about this is the twin sister thing like the evil twin sister thing i just thought what the hell like i remember reading the back and i was like uh no mm -mm that doesn't sound like a bit of me it's like i don't know it just sounded so it's a bit cringe <laughs> and a bit like far-fetched like who actually has an evil twin sister like if this was a fantasy book yeah throw an evil twin in there but this isn't it's just a romance so it was kind of like i don't know but i'm giving this my best go i'm gonna start it tomorrow it oh it's only a 500 pay book sorry guys it's not a 600 pay book but yeah i'm a bit scared the cover is really pretty though and it's got daisies on it and i'm a daisy so yeah i'm hoping i do like it because honestly there's barely anyone that doesn't like this book most people absolutely love it and there is a second and there is a third coming out so if i do love it that will give me more books to read so that's even better so it's now the next day i'm just about to start things we never got over i'm scared but i feel like it's such a sunny and nice day today and we're gonna drive down to the beach to the dog so i'm just gonna read this on the drive down and hopefully it will like fit the vibes because i'm pretty sure it's set in summer i could be completely wrong but it looks like it's set in summer so I'm just well, no i'm just over halfway actually my issue is with this book i just feel like it's all over the place like i feel like there's so many characters there's so many little things going on here and there and i'm just like what is going on and it's taken away from the romance as well like all the characters and all the different things going on is is not allowing me to get, get connected to the characters that the book is about do you know what i mean like i'm not connected to anyone in the book at all <laughs> because there's so many characters and there's so much stuff going on all the time that I'm just like, where is this going? Where, what is going on? Like it is enjoyable at times. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, this is fun. And, but I just don't know, like, I'm just not sure. 
and also I recently got to a bit where they're talking about periods and it's like so weird it's like it's written by a 13 year old like it's so honestly weird like he's making like period health boxes for his employees and they're all in the same cycle because they've all like linked up on their cycle because they work together what on earth what on earth what on actual like what is going on this is what I can, like i can't get into it because i'm just always like what is going on but yeah i'll hopefully finish it tonight or tomorrow honestly i don't really want to finish it but i'm gonna have to for this video so tonight or tomorrow i'll go back to you so i've got like less than 100 pages left now and they've just gotten into like the third act of breakup and it's really bugging me like the way everyone in the town's acting is really bugging me like this isn't people don't do this surely people don't do people don't act like this and he keeps swearing at the 11 year old like not swearing at her but like swearing in front of her and when talking to her like you don't do that you don't swear when you're talking to an 11 year old i don't care who she was raised by you just don't do it good morning guys so i actually finished things we never got over last night um also i look horrendous so ignore that uh i think i rated it a three stars like i whenever i spoke about the book it was always bad things because the bad did outweigh the good but it was still fun like i understood why people enjoyed it um, i enjoyed some of the end i hate books that have two epilogues so because why is that necessary I don't know, maybe it was less than three stars because I really cannot think off the top of my head what I enjoyed about it. But like, I read it and it didn't hurt too much to read it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't painful. I'm going to start to read The Housemaid today, which I'm more excited about that because it's a thriller and it's a really popular thriller. And Stanley is going to come and say hello. been reading literally for the past like four hours straight maybe three i'm currently at 231 in this book and oh my god am i loving it it's literally so gripping like i can't put it down i've got to go to work now and i'm so upset that i can't just keep reading this book like, oh, i kind of like figured something out very early on but it's still like it doesn't take away from the fact that this book is still so interesting and we have been getting the housemaid's point of view for half this book and then the second half i've just got to we get the wife's point of view which is so 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 interesting and i'm so ah, i just can't wait to see what happens i'm taking it to work for me i'm going to read some of my break and then i'm hopefully going to finish it tonight because i cannot wait hello lovely so i finished the housemaid last night and oh my god did i love it i kind of figured out the main twist probably like halfway or no less than halfway through the book even though i kind of knew not really where this was going to go but like who the suspect was it still was like so good like i was still so interested and like i just wanted to know where this was going to go how this was going to end and yeah i just really enjoyed this book and i definitely recommend this one i initially gave it a five stars because i could have read this in one sitting if I didn't have to go to work and I, but now looking back I think I'm gonna knock it down to a 4.5 because I did love it it kept me so gripped and it was just a really good storyline but the fact that I did kind of work out the main and only plot twist is a bit like oh yeah actually it was kind of obvious like it's not that I'm really smart it's like it was really obvious <laughs> doesn't take away from the fact that I still really, really enjoyed this book. It's basically about this woman who needs desperately needs a job. She basically interviews to be a housemaid. And the woman interviews her, seems to really like her. And then she rings back and says, yes, you've got the job. Can you come and live in? 
she's like yeah and she moves in she moves into this weird like attic and everything she's thinking this house is so big like why am i living in the attic but whatever and it kind of just goes from there like the wife like the woman that hired her is very weird very like mean will like leave things messy for her and will tell her to do something and then it can like contradict herself and then make it hard for the maid and then the husband's really nice and then the child's spoiled it's just a really weird kind of like what's going on here story like, the way it's written is so amazing though i cannot knock that like it literally it gets you and you're like you can't put it down <laughs> with this book i'm very much glad that ashley recommended me because it was really good and obviously we had things we never got over so it's about a girl that basically she goes to meet her twin sister because she gets called to meet her and she's just not the twin sister her she has ran away from her red wedding she's a runaway bride and then she goes to meet her sister and her sister's not there and it turns out everyone in this town hates her and she steals her car and then she's kind of like stranded there with her sister's daughter that she now has to look after and she clearly meets a man called Knox. This book, it was fun. I'll give it that. It was fun. It was entertaining. But then nothing made any sense. It was so all over the place. I just didn't like any of the characters, like, at all. And I just felt like everyone in this book acted like they were children. So, yeah, these were the two books that my best friend, who does not read at all, picked out for me. And I think she did a good job, to be honest. This one I kind of already knew I wasn't going to like, like that's why I hadn't picked it up because I had that feeling that was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to like it and I was kind of right. But this one I'm so glad because it was so good. But yeah, let me know if you want to see more of these videos, like my boyfriend or my mum picking my books instead, see what they come up with. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next time.